Inspiration Nation. Hello, Lee Kemp here for yet another week on the podcast, as always, with Jose Neuer and Ryan Boniface. How are we doing, guys? Yes. Good, thank you, Lee. Good, thanks, Lee. I've got to be uh, careful not tinsel rubbing against this because it does all that business. But yeah. That's what the kids call it these days. Thank you, everyone out there, for supporting us, watching us on YouTube, listening to us wherever your podcast players are. Follow us on Twitter at listen to I N, listen T O I N. There's been some good activity going on there this week, so thank everyone for it. Also, for those of you, and there's been quite a few of you this week that are trawling through the archive, we appreciate you. We'd love to hear know what you think about the shows. Just head over inspirationnation.org.uk or just search wherever you listen to podcasts. Right, so this week. We won't talk about talking sticks or talking pickles or circle of conversation or anything else because this week is our Inspiration Nation Christmas party. So this will be going out yes. on or about. In fact, it'll be Friday. Friday, if you are listening to this, if you are live, it is Tuesday the 13th of December. It's the 16th of December if you're hitting this on the day it comes out. Who knows? This might be the 13th of March, 2025. We never know what's going on when people are listening. That's the joy of podcasts. But most importantly, on YouTube, this is going out on Christmas Day. So this is our Christmas party and the video will be going out on Christmas Day. And as it's become a tradition, the second year can be a tradition. We have no topic. It's kind of like a wing in it, with the exception that we get drunk at the same time because it's our Christmas party. Yes. Oh, my word. Do you know who's just joined? We've got my dude who joined yesterday. He joined yesterday. Or they joined yesterday, sorry. They joined yesterday. (laughs) Loads of likes. And I've got Strange Monk come back. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, my dude. Merry Christmas to you, Strange Monk. Thanks for coming back. Please stay with us for the rest of this this, this broadcast. It'd be great. But yeah. Absolutely. We muchly appreciate that. So Joe is on the red wine over there. Yep, I am. Very large glass. I'm hoping he gets trolled by the end of it. Trolled. Ryan is on the very sophisticated and grown-up vodka and Dr Pepper. Great yep. choice of drink. Nice, thank you, thank you. And I am having a what does it say? A blackberry and raspberry gin with tonic, which I have nice. an entire bottle of gin on my desk here. You can't really see it because it's disappearing. But there you go. Yeah. We can see it a little bit. A little bit. We don't want to cover off any advertising issues so i won't mention that is green balls gin that i got from Lidl for 30.99 and i think it's fantastic value well a little bit of a yeah here is the special code <laughs> <laughs> don't think Lidl do special codes i, I don't know they're already special right, enough at the, till, they? at the till just say hashtag inspiration nation and see what they say that would be interesting wouldn't it it'd be very interesting so Christmas party, guys. Year in reflection. Christmas yeah. party. Joe's getting drunk and confused at what's going on. What are we going to entertain and inspire people with for the next 20 minutes or so? Did you hear that? <laughs> well, I just, you know what? I just think it's a great journey. I just think it's a great journey. I think um, I just, uh, to the guys, so you guys on TikTok, you guys on the YouTube, I just sent the guys, actually, because every time on YouTube, I get a little update, don't I? I get a little update. That you do. And this year has been a big growth for, for followers, uh, for, for subscribers, isn't it? I mean, literally, I think we've almost doubled our subscribers this year, was it? Well, no, I think we doubled it, didn't we? I, think I haven't got the... I think so, more than, in fact. Yeah, we doubled our subscribers on YouTube, and that's because of you lovely people um, listening, and you lovely people watching on TikTok and clicking on the links and, you know, following and, you know, promoting the podcast. I know you do that. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that I don't that we don't probably see that you do, but all we are really grateful for every subscriber. We're grateful for every listen, for every share um, and every like, but we've really had some big growth this year. Cause I think we were sitting, what, what were we sitting at? Not hundred and no, I think that was, it must've been three, two, 300, I think. And now we're what, yep. 700, something like that. Was that it? We are something like that on it. I think. Yeah. So I think growth wise, I think we've done really, really well. And there's some things that have happened really recently. Like um, we, we still did interviews, um, there's one of the videos on YouTube that's starting to like blow up a little bit, which is quite exciting. You know, we're starting to get a bit more traction. I'm feeling really excited about where it's going because we're gradually getting this traction. We're doing a few, we're doing much more in terms of um, shorts on YouTube. So you can just have a little bit of dose inspiration, like, th- you know, a minute worth of inspiration. So I think there's a lot going on. There's tons of stuff going on with the nation. Um, and I think the growth has been great. Um, so, yeah, I think in reflection, I think, it, it, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's great in terms of, if we can just provide a space for people to feel inspired, to talk about what their goals are, to talk about what they want to achieve and to start and take steps towards it, I think that's a really great thing. So for me, you know, I think I've grown a lot 
just personally by doing the podcast a lot this year, lots of things are starting to change, lots of things are on the drive. I'm putting coaching, coaching codes in place in my corporate role. Oh my God, so much happening, getting some great feedback on my on training coaching, on, on the podcast. I had great feedback from the interview person I interviewed, Ian, Ian Meacher. Ian Meacher, go check out the um in, go check out the um episode, Inspirational Barber. Go check it out because actually there's a local business that I interviewed and he loved the podcast and he's like keep promoting it himself. Um so we've got a little poster going up in town about that. So I shared that with the guys. So lots of stuff going on, I think. But anyway, over to you guys. I've done a lot of talking there. So I, I realised I don't want to hog the airway. So over to you guys. But I think there's a lot been going on. But what, what is the big, the big, what I suppose for me, what have been the big highlights for you, uh, Ryan and Lee? And also just say TikTok, what's any big, big highlights for you? And we'll shout them out as well. But Ryan, Lee, talk to us. Talk, talk, talk about what you've experienced this year and what the big takeaways are for you from this, I suppose, this little... It's not little year, a big year in review. So I'm getting close to the end of my first class here, by the way. So I'm feeling that warm and glow coming on. So this is good. I'm enjoying this, Joe. So I just, just, I know you talked about YouTube thing, but I sent around something in our WhatsApp some point this year because your inspiration yourself, Joe, um, Evan Carmichael, from whose book you got to the word inspiration and I think is a big mm. encouragement in all of this. Obviously, he lives, you know, he is significant follower volumes lives on youtube lives on social media does a lot of this inspirational stuff loads of it absolutely fantastic stuff really great guy and i shared that in terms of years our follower growth is almost following exactly the same pattern that his is and i think we talked about different podcasts sometimes it can be a bit of a slog or a struggle or you wonder how long things are going on for but actually that was really encouraging to me to see that our journey is very similar to to that sort of same journey and it kind of gives me hope we're on the on the right path with all this that we're doing and you know there's people who are listening now as much as there will be people listening to this episode in the future but people now who are you know they are on this journey with us they are supporting us as our listeners and our followers and our watchers grow this this is what helps it happen people getting involved people encouraging us what we're doing people recommending us to other people and I, I just think it's really encouraging and really supportive and that initial mission we had on day one of our conversation in the pub show that was referenced a few times of if we could just help one person or one person listens to it and takes something from it and I think we've gone way beyond that volume now just based on feedback we know we have yeah. which is fantastic I love that we've exceeded our own expectations I would say and in another way it feels like we're only just getting started I just think we only just get started I think literally been what three just over three and a half years in um we just get started here well over three and a half years now and it must be over three and a half years but um the other thing I was just gonna say I was on TikTok last night on live and I remember when on TikTok, I had zero followers. And then I got one follower and I did a little TikTok video say, I have one follower. And literally it's in the archives. It's right in your, if you go back, scroll back on TikTok. And I did the video on purpose because what I knew what was going to happen is that we would start to get a bit of traction. Yeah. Now I think it's over 1,400. But no one ever sees that one. And then, you know, the 1,400, right? You just get, oh, it's got one, two, three. But like, it's just amazing what the traction you get if you keep persisting. So yeah, so there's been you know, significant growth. And I think, you know, people think it just happens overnight. It doesn't. It takes a lot of work. So you guys that have seen just this one video, if you'd been back then, you go, oh, we've only got one follower. But actually now, we, we're, what, two, what, on TikTok, have been, what, a bit a year? Is it a year and a bit, maybe? Now 1,400 followers, yes. like over 1,400. So, but yeah. So, you know, significant growth. If you, if you, the percentages would just be crazy growth, right? Which is pretty cool, in my view. But anyway, Ryan, what about you? Going to kind of go back to what Lee said about it's it's very easy to kind of lose track of why you guys and then ultimately me came on board, what the, our, our original goal was. And it was to get like one person, you know, it was to, just to help. Even if it was just one person, we would help one person. And then that escalated and escalated. And I think this year's goal, and whilst we've fallen, you know, pretty, pretty shy of that is, you know, was it 10,000 new followers or something like that this year? I think we That's suggested. Well, that's, that's an ongoing goal right now. But that, at the start of the year, that was a goal for this year. Mm. Um, mm. And we just changed the end post on that. Yeah, we went from one and we times that by 10,000 in what would be by the end of, of year four, almost for us. And that's, that's, that's a huge jump, you know. Uh, and I think we can, we can be, we can be proud of ourselves and, and the guys that listen to us can be proud of themselves for wanting to help themselves and others around them as well. Because ultimately we only put the message out there as what the guys kind of take away and implement from that that actually creates real change i love that brian that's what this is about isn't it it's about making impact 
And what you're describing there for me is is like if you make some changes in your own life, you can actually make a big impact. You'll make a bigger impact than what you think. And I love that. So for me, that whole thing about if you help yourself, it's like it's like that old saying around if you want to start helping other people, you've got to help yourself first. And this is about how this podcast is about the everyday person with the everyday challenges. You know, it's not about like, oh, I'm going to climb, climb Mount Everest. Although I did do a 12 hour walk, right? Do you remember that, right? Did he um, do it? Did I mention it? Did I mention it? He's not said that uh, before, surely. Next thing he's going to tell us, he's got a new microphone as well. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, it all starts with those small steps. You know, if I'd been over two years, three years ago, I probably wouldn't have done that 12 hour walk, right? And it's about the change you make to yourself. Because I really, my, my, so my purpose really about this and all doing all this sort of stuff is I want to leave the world in a better place than when I than I, when I was born into. So can I can I improve? Can we can we help to improve other people's lives through these discussions, through the changes we've had? And of course, I've had, I've had you know, I, and I'm going to reiterate, I've had a tough year this year. I lost my mum this year, so that's been a, it's been a really tough year. But I know I know it's going to be really tough in December because I know it's coming up for an anniversary, and. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a year of real challenge, but it just, I just want to, the reason I share this stuff is because you will come through it. If you just keep persisting, you will come through it. And that's the key. And I just wanted to just add that. Though. Thanks, Ryan. That was a really good thing. Like that. That was really good. So for some more reflection and stats and where we are in the year, I just cool. want to talk about our, our reach around the world as a fun Christmas game, guys. And I use the word game loosely and the word fun even loosely are. What do you think right now are the top three countries that are listening to Inspiration Nation? Oh, see, they're, they're, see they're, I, no, I have access to the YouTube channel. So I know who the YouTube channel. I know the greatest audience is there. So I'm, I know you said it was something different. Oh, I this don't know. Only, got... So this is just on the last 10 episodes. And this right. is of the 14 countries that we have featured in in All those right. last I'm, 10 episodes. I'm going to go. I'm going to go for the UK. But it's obvious, but I'm going to go for the UK. But. I'm going for that. That's just one. You've got to give me three. Oh, but Ryan's got to guess some as well. So, so if, I'm going if, to it's UK. Based, if it's based on history, then it's got to be UK, US. And did we have a rogue? There was. Was, well, was it Rwanda? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Ryan, you've got a brilliant memory. We're going to go for the around this. What we're going to go for, Ryan? We're going to go for what? We're going to go for the UK, UK the US, and Rwanda. US and Rwanda. What's what we're going for? We're going for that. Do we get a point? You get no points. Oh, All right, you got on, on, before you get away, hang on. Before you get we got two. Leave that harsh on us. Hold on, hold on. On TikTok, can you think who our audience is? On on the on, just going to see if I get an answer. If we do get an answer, it'd be brilliant. Right, TikTok. So a question for you, whoever's on here right now. Who do you think? Lisa just asked the question. Who do you think listens to us most on the on the audio top podcast? Three countries. Top three countries. Top That's three countries. So else, yeah. Hi there. What three countries do you think listen to us most on the on the audio podcast? Pop it in the chat. I don't know whether we get too much of a response, but we'll just see. If something pops up, then I'll shout it out. What three countries do you think we get listened to most? In, in the chat, go. Go. Got 300 likes, by the way, on there. See what comes up. Got England as one. Got England. Any others? So in the top three, top number three. two is the United Kingdom. Yep, so, so L's is saying in, England. So that is correct. England, Wales. Three. Wales is another uh, one. Yeah. UK sweeping it all up in UK. So England and Wales are both joint in number two. Oh, right. <laughs> so L's, L's, we, we're counting England, Wales, it's the UK. So we've got another, another couple of countries, another couple of countries where you think we, we, are, we are being listened to most. So we got. And I help out here. You guys were right. United States. So United States is number one on the list for the last 10 episodes. Oh, the United wow. Kingdom is number two. Oh, okay. You're completely off with Rwanda, by the way. It's Namibia is where oh, we get listen. Okay. Oh, that was it. Okay. Namibia, wasn't it? And yeah. I think I know. I'm going to shout out this week on Twitter. There's someone who follows us, re really huge supporter. If you are listening now, we hugely thank you. And I'm going to send out some love on Twitter for them this week, actually. So you should be seeing that. Number three on the list for the last 10 episodes, Austria. Oh, Wow. And in fact, someone in Vienna. So if you are that person, if you are listening, thank you very much. We appreciate your support. We'd love to hear from you. Love to hear what you think of the show. Loads of great listens recently. Uh, following that, Canada, Germany, India. But again, on the reflections, guys, back to that whole one person thing. Mm. Since we started nearly four years ago, by the way, Joe, we're well over the three and a half year mark. We have been listened to in 78 different countries or territories. 78. That's fantastic. 78 countries. Well, <clears throat> amazing. Love that. 
absolutely love that. And on that I'm top just... 10, we've got US, United Kingdom, France, Germany, Australia, Austria, Canada, Canada, Japan, and Namibia, not Rwanda. I'm oh, in at number I... 10. Can I just give out a couple of points to Els? Because Els is actually guessing in the TikTok. So yeah, I'm going to two points. Because you've got the UK and you've got America. So definitely got two points. Definitely got two points. I think got the same as Ryan and me. But we didn't get the third one, did we? The Austria. We didn't get Austria. I'd, I'd, love love that. To, I'd love to go and work for Red Bull. So if um, oh, is first anyone there? If person in go Austria on. wants to employ me, then by all means. So it's a shout out for Ryan. Anyone in Austria? Was it Red Bull you see you wanted to work for? Red yeah, you Bull. know, Red Bull's founded in Austria. Oh, okay. It's so the anyone... drink. So is anyone on here on TikTok or listening to the podcast or watching the YouTube, if anyone knows of an opening at Red Bull, please can you let us know and we can let pass that on to Ryan. Um, please let Ryan know and we'll put you put us in touch. That'd be great. That'd be amazing. Is there still a buzz on this mic, by the way? A no, little bit. I, I can't hear anything. Apologies to those out there listening. We have some slight technical issues. It's all Ryan's fault. He's terrible at this stuff. Correct. He's the best. <laughs> Correct. He's the best. Right. I love that little game. Is there more little games, Ellie? I like that. That was really good. Is there anything Did else? Like that trivia? So Any that's tri- our, I just, I think I said, we're coming up just on, we're just coming up on four years. We're coming up on our 200th <clears> episode <throat> soon. So I think we've done absolutely, you know, that reach we've got is absolutely fantastic. There's a lot of people that won't go through our archives, which I really, really like. There's some more obscure things here, but it's not as interesting. Do you want to guess the most popular app that we are listened to via? I told you this wasn't interesting. Popular app? Or oh, Spotify. Uh, yeah, I was going to go Spotify. That's what I was going to do. Spotify. Or Apple okay. Podcast is one or Let's the other. Ask po- so, okay, go to TikTokers again. TikTokers, what was it? What app are we what? What app are, what what app are, we, app most are we most listened to? What app are we most listened to in? What app? Are, oh, Spotify. Els has gone for Spotify. We're going Spotify, whole house. I'll give one hint on this before you have a guess. At Spotify is actually eighth on the list. Eighth. Oh, eighth. Spot- eighth is eighth. Uh, what about Google? Is there something to do with Google? Is there a Google one? There is Google Podcasts. That is seventh on the list. It's like, oh. it's like we're doing a top ten here, Joe. Uh, God, I'm struggling with that. I'm struggling with it. I, I'm not very good at... Is it Apple? Apple? Apple. It is Apple. Apple Podcasts. Because yes. hips just like me oh, who own iPhone. Oh, point. Loves it. Yes. Els got Apple as well. Score. Well done, Els. God, you've got a lot of shout-out, Els, on that. This, this is the Christmas special, Els. You're getting a lot of shout-outs. It's brilliant. You deserve it because you're interacting in a good way. So there you go. I love it. Well done, Els. Getting lots of likes here. Up to, up to 400 odd likes now. This is great. Look at this. This is just the quiz. Everyone getting loves some good podcasts, eh? It's a good quiz action. I think the, the quiz action always, always is, a good, is a winner. Love that. Quiz action. Els is loving this. Els is saying she's love. Els is saying loving it. Loving it. Thank you, Els. Loving the likes as well, by the way. Thank you so, so much. We appreciate every like absolutely every like every share everything because it does help us grow right and, and we can't do it without you guys we can't do it without you Els and all the people that listen and share this podcast we need to do more of it just join in the you know don't forget link in the bio join everything great no i love that lee anything else from you i love that, I love just, that this is the last little bit just to emphasize again the joy of the this is the thing with podcasts is it's out there forever so you've got the archive there's a slight lag with my my TikTok watching, Joe. So your mouth's still moving on my screen over here, even oh. though you stopped talking. Oh, just to let you know, just want to give Very you an update. Just a little wee update. Els has actually followed us on TikTok. So that's fabulous. Thank you, Els, for follow. Another joining of the Inspiration Nation mission. So I'm just, on Christmas Thanks, party, Els. I'm just getting ready to pour drink number two. I'm supposed to be wrapping no. presents later, Joe. This is all going to go wrong, and it's all your fault. I tell you what, I do not want to spill on my computer because we could end the podcast really soon. If I, but anyway, I'm still about halfway through, and I'm feeling a little bit merry now. To be fair, so in the last couple of days to promote the archive today, people have been listening to as well as the last four or five episodes, episode eighty-one, which is the very first of our seven hundred episodes on twenty-five rules to live by. Uh, oh, was it? <laughs> We need so to take, we take that those was the down. one million. It was a one million down. episode. Take, take, <laughs> honestly, delete them. I noticed that no, they haven't the gone, They haven't gone and listened to part two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or twelve. And they probably won't listen to to episode two hundred and. Hang on, whatever hang on. we are on. Let's just uh, clarify this. I know we mock this, but actually, they are very, very good rules. They are very, very good rules. They're good rules, but and they I, did. They didn't need seven episodes. They did extend. Um, but, but I mean, the thing is, they are really good. Actually, do you know what I've done with those? Actually, I've actually written them. I've actually got them written up on my. Um, I've actually got Ruben Sharma's list of. I don't know how many it was. How many was it coming? But I've actually got them written on my kitchen, my kitchen on an A4 bit of paper in scruffy, my scruffy handwriting. I actually still have them up because I like to have them there. So yeah, I love that. 
I love that sort of stuff. But I liked your 21 rules as well, Ryan. Yours tw- we did that in one episode. So it shows that we got more efficient, didn't it? That was good. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Interviews are getting listened to as well. Part two of our Lyme disease with Dylan. Great guy. Oh, yeah. Lyme How's Dylan Andrew getting on these days? Is, have you heard from him lately? Not for a few months. He did. He had another podcast idea for me, but I don't really would love to do it with him, but I just didn't. I just haven't got the time right now. Plus, you guys would have sulked or something about the fact. Yeah, I definitely would have sulked. Definitely would have jealous. Anyway, just want to say, Els has just said someone's not going to work in the morning. I reckon that's Lee. Yeah, it's Lee. Joe. Such a lightweight. Lee, Lee does half a job anyway these days. Oh, half a job, <laughs> Lee. So, Els, do you know something, Els? Els, Els, Lee is not going to work tomorrow. He's probably going to just cry off a little bit because of this, you know. Hey, just call Nicholas. Says hi. Hey, hey, hi. How you doing? Another person join join the the crew. Just don't forget to just don't forget to follow. Oh, L is just actually going crazy on the likes. We're up to one k likes, guys. L is just actually crushing that button, crushing that button. Bang, bang, bang. We are getting tons of likes. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. This is this is a great Christmas special, guys. I love this. Loving this. Seeing Joe in social so media shows. mode is weird. You know what's this? What's weird? Crushing the like button. I mean, I mean, all over it, Joe. I mean. Is that is that is that not a thing? So, Ryan, you're more with. No, sort of it, like... it's definitely a thing, but I'm not sure it's a thing from a man your of your uh, experience. What are you going to say? Come on, experience <laughs> of life. You're very good with the words that your experience, your age. Just you're going to go. Your age. You were talking about that. Do you mm. know where I got it from? Though I'm actually at the minute. I'm really hooked. To, I'm playing tennis, as you all know, right? I beat a 21 year old. Lost a 73 year old. Do you want to play Joe, tennis? Does Joe play, play tennis? tennis right? Has he mentioned yeah, he that beat, before? He beat a 20, I played tennis. Do you know, you know what? Beat a 23 year old, right? Do you know? What, but then I lost to a 73 year old. Joe's old enough to be his granddad, you know that. Honestly. Do you know what? But the thing is, there's this guy called um, Ryan Reedy, Two Minute Tennis, is brilliant, and um, (laughs) he talks about crushing the ball, so I've just adopted that. I love that whole thing. I think it's Americanism. Um, So, yeah, so I like that. And uh, by the way, Els just said to you, Lee, uh, Sicky Lee. It may um, well happen. I'm not going to say it's not going to happen. Aha, old sick note. (laughs) Night after the Christmas party, what can you do? <laughs> this is the Christmas inspiration day Christmas party. This is it. I mean, Els has just joined us as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a fourth member of the crew here. Like, literally, like, like Ellie, Els has just, like, absolutely crushed the like button. 1.3K likes, honestly, must be going. I don't know, Els, I don't know how you're liking it so much to get those likes up so quickly. It's crazy. But just, like, just saying, hashtag amazing. <laughs> just, this is crazy. It's great. I'm loving it, by the way. Oh, I love you it. Know that people haven't said hashtag for a good few years now, right, Jay? Yeah, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm. What is what? Ryan, Ryan do you refer to me as what? Person my experience. That's right. Really meant old age. <laughs> uh, person my experience. But that's what I mean. I'm, I'm about bringing back the old, right? I'm about that. I'm about like you know, people say, oh, "I love the '80s. Bring the '80s back." My daughter loves the '80s. Well, let's bring the hashtag back. Hashtag. Let's bring the '80s back. All that sort of stuff. You know, all that sort of stuff. I'm all up for doing that. Um, oh, look at that. I was just like, "Gotta support ya." I love that, Jay. Look at that. Got to support you, Jay. Els, you're amazing. I love this. I'm loving this, by the way. Don't forget to keep coming back. And you follow, so it's brilliant. There you go. This is really good interaction, though. Know. Definitely, definitely a fourth member of the team right now. Person who's actually crushing that. <laughs> FM. Oh, FM's back. Oh, my God. FM's back on the old TikTok. Merry Christmas to you. Member you, FM. I remember you, FM. Merry Christmas to you. So, again, people coming back. It's lovely. I've not been live a lot. I only went last night and then this time. So, I may need to get, maybe, maybe I need to get more on the live on the TikTok a bit more. People there you go. missing you, Joe. YouTube as well, Joe. We talked about it earlier, but this year you added to your top. In fact, you had your fourth biggest video of this year. Oh, what fourth was that? Biggest, one? Which was your How to Become Extraordinary in Life. So, was this our Mark, Mark Drager, Drager second interview? Mark Drager, yeah. We're getting back and all. Yeah, it's a great. Just shy just shy of 10,000 views. Now, when we started this, imagine saying to you, you get a video that you'd put up and six months later, there'd be 10,000 views on it. 100%. But that's Mark Drager for you, right? How we do hard things podcast. And I think this is what we've done, isn't it? I think, you know, as a group of people, we are influencing people and we're, we're connecting with people who literally have potentially large influence on, on social about personal development and things like that. Mark's one of those and he's building his own podcast. So I support Mark on his comments on his podcast. So we'll get him back as well. We'll get him back next year. We'll see what his review is, see his growth, and we'll get him back, and we'll see if we can um, we can uh, do it. Yeah, actually, we get him back and see if we can get some more growth on that. So I'm definitely going to get him back because I said every year we'll bring him back to see what his growth is on his podcast, and we'll sort of compare our journeys. I think would be a good thing to do. Um, Els going cheeky bit of wine, Gowan. I don't know what that means, but Els, don't know what Gowan is. Go on, is it go on? Oh, oh go boy. on! Oh, go oh, on! Boy. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> if he put a hashtag on the front of it, you'd have got it, wouldn't you? Yeah, I, Elle, you I imagine. Go on. I imagine. I don't want to insult Els, but I imagine she's northern using phrases like that. I don't know. Els. Els. Um, you also probably Els. want to say he looking at the profile. Els. Els. Well, just... but, you know, we'll get it all wrong. We'll get he's, it all he's wrong. Calling, he's Els, calling, Els, he's Els. calling them Els. That's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a lady's nickname. <laughs> Els. It's, it's, it's on TikTok. You're not on TikTok. Can you see? No. Els. Oh, I'm not on TikTok. Els. Els, Els is saying. We apologise. So Els, Ryan is asking. Els, Ryan, Ryan is asking oh, no, 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 whether no, no, you're no. northern. Now I don't know what this, meant, but you can just hold him to account for that. Are you on TikTok right now, Ryan? You need to be on TikTok because no. he's not on TikTok. No, you can't say it. He's not on the TikTok with us. But he's not on the TikTok. <laughs> he's not on the TikTok. Imagine if somebody listens to the audio of this, and all they've got is Joe for twenty minutes thanking people for joining the live. <laughs> <laughs> we, we put out great content you know, honestly that, that, do you know what that is that's the wine talking but i love it but i've got to appreciate i've got to appreciate come back people. come back next week guys please we'll be better next week no we're great this week we're talking about we're great this week it's good else look El, 2.1k likes this is amazing come on this is great it's what we need and it's what we need thanks else oh hang on else just said nah mate i'm a seaside boy so like we must be to throw in a bit of an accent there, Joe. Like yeah. you're cool. Do you think we might be Essex way? Maybe I'm thinking. I don't know. Maybe I'm Essex. I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm thinking Essex. I'm thinking Essex. I don't know why I'm thinking Essex. I don't know why. Every week. That's not good. I'd have to quit the podcast if Joe drank like, every week. Like <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't right deal now. with this. I couldn't deal with this. Paul Ryan, he's having a part with me. He? Paul Ryan, I do feel for you, Ryan. I do get a little bit. What's it called? Gregarious. When I've had a, when when I get excited, um, I get good, 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 gregarious. Um, southwest, so southwest, we've got so southwest. Hmm, what southwest? That would be like, oh, that'd be down Devon way, wouldn't it? Devon. Anyway, oh, yeah, I'm just trying to do my geography. I'm sure it's all right. Devon, <laughs> Devon Cornwall way. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Anyway, carry on, guys. I'm sorry, I'm taking over. Sorry, cool. I'm sharp now. Yeah, you're taking over your own podcast, Joe. This is ridiculous. How dare you? It's disgraceful. It's a disgraceful behaviour. That's what it is. We are just your backup dancers. No, you're, you're not. The main event. No, you are the you're the hostess with the mostest, and Ryan provides balance and tells me puts me in puts me in place. To say, Jose, you can't speak on this particular rule. Yeah, I remember that. That's it. Yep, that's good. Because Ryan was in control, and I love that. So it's good. Keep me in check. That's you two. Keep me in check. I, good. Rem I remember my first beer. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Are you going to be able to walk you know back what? downstairs? Are you going to need someone to hold your hand, or are you going to be all hey, right? Right, 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 right. Do you know what? You'd be surprised. I can't remember my first beer. It's so long ago. <laughs> that's that's. I'm just problem. too experienced. Right, I'm just too experienced. That's what it is. Sure. Sure. If you look, if you see on TikTok, there is a bed just behind Joe, and I think he's going to flop out the chair straight into that bed when we're finished here. Uh, no, no, I'm not going to beds. Uh, by the way, Els just said, can we guess the town? So I'm southwest. I think I've got Cornwall or Devon right. I could never guess the town. Honestly, I could never guess it. I don't want you to reveal the town because obviously I want to keep you safe on, on social. Just, just don't reveal your town, all right? Lee's now gone off camera. What's going on with Lee? What's he doing? It's garlic bread time, isn't it? Oh... So Lee does this, doesn't he, Ryan? He always goes off and does some garlic bread or something. I don't garlic know bread time. What I would say is we're heavily overrunning on time. Oh, we've got six minutes left, I think. We about well, six minutes. That means we're minus four minutes. Oh, okay. Well, Els has just said Devon the country, so I got it right. I got it right. Els, I just got it right. So there you go. We've got people in the UK listening to us, which is fantastic. Well, that's good. Els been a major sport. Two point five k likes, by the way. Two point five k likes. Big big shout out. In between Exeter and Plymouth. Wow. But yeah, I mean, Lee always does this, doesn't he? It's garlic Goes bread off. time. So, so Ryan, if I was going to ask you one question, I know we're running out of time, but biggest takeaway so far this year for you from these discussions we've had, what do you think it is? Don't yeah. let, don't that's, let Joe drink. I can. That's, that's a good answer. <laughs> don't biggest, let me drink. Biggest takeaway. We've spoken a few times about touching up on top. That's a weird phrase. Retouching <laughs> on topics that we've discussed previously, and I kind of. I have a problem with that, but I don't have a problem with that in the sense that, you know, we've we spoke about these things and we're just recycling the same stuff every every so often otherwise. But there's a part of me that that also understands that you learn new things with different perspectives at different times of life. Sometimes you need to hear the same the same rule or the same thought process or the same learning a few times before you fully understand it because otherwise you're only understanding one side of it at a time yeah i think you're right there ryan the thing is with these when we talk about these subjects we grow different rates everyone's listening is growing at different rates so actually our interpretation of those particular discussions change over time and sometimes to actually get the learning and implement the learning and development you do have to hear it quite a few times for you to actually start to do it um 
I don't know about you, but I know we talked about ad styles. And actually, Ryan and Lee, I need you to do those. We're going to do those personality things we're going to talk about. I want to talk about those on one of my episodes. So we'll get those out. But the whole point is, is that you do have to hear things quite a few times or see things. I'm not quite a visual learner to actually start to implement them. And so for me, I have to hear a rule quite a lot of times. So we don't oh, need to try, start doing that to actually start implementing. Yeah, so... So that's why we recycle. But actually, when we recycle, that's actually a slightly different perception it? because we've grown as people. So, it's, so it's, although we do, and actually, there's only so many rules that you can stick by in terms of, you know, well, not in rules, but like in life, there are certain rules that are, you know, or certain things that you can't navigate around, like, you know, listening and, you know, and just making space for people. Those are the things. These, these, are, th- these are the things that are immovable laws that we can't move around. That's why we talk about them a lot because they're absolutely necessary for personal growth, right? So although we talk about them, we'll be we're different people. Every time, even each week, we are different people talking about maybe similar things, but we're slightly shifted. Think about Lee and his growth this year. Think about you and your growth this year. Your life has moved on. And so our perceptions change about those, the things we think about those types of things when we, when we discuss them. So yeah, I, I really like that, Ryan. I think you've got a really good shout on that. Go on. Just quickly, Els has got to shoot off. We thank you for the support during the podcast. If you like our social media at listen to IN, listen T-O-I-N. Um, you're making me very sweaty on the time, by the way, Joe. So just very quickly. Okay. I told you. This year. I told you. Um, <laughs> did. <laughs> Ryan way, did. He did. It was it was potatoes, not garlic bread today. But oh, okay. I started this year with the the resolution on less judgment, and I think I've I've said I've referenced it numerous times. I'm I'm better, but not great. <clears throat> but I'm definitely, and it's definitely helped me. I would advocate it to anyone that it is a life changer for how you feel about yourself. But actually, I've really moved into that surprisingly that mindfulness space this year i think is the biggest thing i've taken away in my personal growth and this this year has probably been a diary of that for me and i'm just hoping to do more of it into next year so being in the moment is definitely my takeaway for this year joe you have got 30 seconds to give us yours go mine is to be just continuing to believe in myself and to adapt more that's mine i like it the adaptation thing is great as well right Everyone, this has been our Christmas party. We've got another couple of shows to go this year on YouTube. Again, this is out on Christmas Day. Um, We'll be less rambly and more on topic next week, but this has been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed it. That's the whole point. You have to have fun in your life. That's the key. You have to have a bit of fun. You know, so thank you, Els. I'm glad you're going to be back. Don't forget to share all the stuff that we talk about or do this stuff. Don't forget to share all the content. So, yeah, you know, we... This is what it's about, right? We have to have some fun in the life, and we, we, we're very, we're pretty right. serious about the stuff we talk about. Remotely. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm only joking. I've done it. I'm only I've joking. done. I've done it. <laughs> He's done it as well. He's muted. Right, everyone out there, we massively appreciate this. This has been our fourth year of podcasting. We appreciate all of the support. A um, few weeks left of 2022 as we move into 23. Um, social media at listen to n listen t o i n. Hit subscribe. Hit like. Tell friends and family. Leave us reviews. All of that helps our growth. Um, yeah, we thank you all. All that's left is to count us down. Three to one. Inspiration Nation. Catch you guys later. Catch you guys later. He's still muted. Let me know what your biggest takeaway is from this conversation. I'd love to know. Put it in the comments below and I'll respond to every single comment because that's the commitment I make to you in this community. Also, don't forget to subscribe right over here because we need you to build this Inspiration Nation community to get the podcast out there and to help other people for free. And also, don't forget to hit that bell right over here because if you hit that bell, then you're going to know when another video is going live. And don't forget to check out these videos right here next to me because those are other podcast episodes that can really help you out. I really, really appreciate it. And lastly, don't forget out to check the newsletter. The link is in the description below. That's where I can talk directly to you without through the YouTube, throughout the social, because you can have a direct communication channel with me through the email and you can get to know everything that's going on with Inspiration Nation, and ask me questions and even give me suggestions on what you want us to talk about next. So I'd love to see you in the next video. So please click on those links. Please follow through. Please let's get this community building. I appreciate you. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video, Inspiration Nation, and I'll catch you guys later.